Okay, we're going to start out here by removing the negative battery terminal on this 2006 Ford XF150, the XLT with a 5.4 Triton. Uh, takes an 8 millimeter. It's going to take an 8 millimeter socket here. So now we'll move around to the interior of the cab and start disassembling the dash. Okay, the first step you want to do to remove the first trim piece on the dash, I like to raise the steering wheel all the way up temporarily. You'll grab a hold right here and you'll pull down on both sides. And underneath here, I'll zoom in on one side. On each side, there's one screw. That you have to remove. It's a seven millimeter. On each quarter of the plastic trim for the upper cover plate. There's one on the opposite side as well. Next thing you want to do is lower the steering column into the lowest position. And we'll actually pop the plastic up around here on each side off by simply pulling and lifting this cluster cover up out of the way. And now that we your battery disconnected, see if I can zoom in. Now with your battery disconnected, you can start uh, taking these two plugs out. The simplest way i found is take your key and depress this little tab and then lift the, the gray lever off. There's one on either side. Now you can take your seven millimeter and around the cluster there are four screws. One here, one here, one down low, and one on the opposite side down low.
now your instrument cluster there'll be a cable underneath you can simply rotate your instrument cluster up With your instrument panel rotated around, you can take a pair of scissors. You could take all these little Torx head screws out or simply slide a pair of scissors in here. Cut this plastic very gently. And lift out that little bulb. So now I went to Napa, <clears throat> they looked it up in their computer system, and it calls for a num number 37 bulb, but a number 74 will also work. The only difference between the two bulbs is one has a little bit more uh, lumens I guess you'd say to it. The 74 is a little bit brighter. That is the only difference. Now if you get the 74, it already came, one of the 74's came already in a little black case. The other 74 did not, it's just the bulb. I also picked up a 37, they look identical. Other than the, vo the wattage is a little bit different. New 74 to go in there. So we're going to try the old housing with the new bulb. The old bulb simply pulls out and the new one screws in. Now to put it all back together you just simply reverse the process. Line your Cluster back up. Insert the four screws around the perimeter. 
you know what before I do all that I'm gonna plug this all back in I'm gonna hook my battery up and test it I'll be back in a minute Okay, so we're going to turn the key on here and see if it works. Here is this. America, we don't have enough jobs as it is. the light works there so now we can start uh, putting all the screws back in if I wasn't trying to record this I could probably do this in under 10 minutes it's really easy to do so don't don't take your rig to the shop just to have this done. I don't know if I mentioned it, but little socket to put these screws in is a seven millimeter. I don't know what an auto mechanic would cost you, but this odometer bulb is very common for going out. <clears throat> All right, steering column all the way down. It is. Okay, on the XLT model, there'll be a uh, plug over on the left hand side that's I believe for the heated mirror which the XLT, XLT does not have and you simply push it and it pops right back into place it's that easy and then two more screws Now you want to raise the steering wheel all the way up. So now all I have left is to pop this bottom cover back in to where it goes. Simple as this. Done. That's how easy it is to change out. Let's test it again. Give you a different different view here of that light. That's how bright it's supposed to be. So that's how you change out the uh, bulb on the 2006 
I believe it's 2004 through 2008 Ford F-150, uh, a number 37 or a number 74 bulb will work. 74's uh, a little brighter, that is the only difference. That's what the uh, guys at uh, Napa told me. Please give the video a thumbs up so others will find it. I thought I'd give you a little bit different view here of that gauge, how bright it should be. And this was with the number 74 bulb. So thanks for watching.